Hello dear YouTube friends, good afternoon or morning or evening wherever you are in the world. I'm finally back with a new video, albeit not with a video I've been wanting to make, as this video is a warning and a request to you. So to just blurt it all out, my warning is that if you are approached by somebody through Etsy under my name, it's somebody pretending to be me. I am no longer active on Etsy and I will not, you know, and if anybody's contacting you under my name through Etsy, it is definitely not me. Um, I strongly suspect my account's been hacked and um, therefore I am sending out this message to my contacts to just beware and be very careful. So also if you're being approached outside of Etsy, um, you know, by me and you're not sure if it is me and, you know, I do not contact people just like that, but, you know, then please contact me and let me know and we can make sure that it's me or not, probably not. Uh, so if you're wondering why I'm saying this on YouTube, because if you're here for the first time, because you just, you know, you tick, you, um, um, you were searching for the words Etsy and hacked, um, then you might wonder why I'm sending out this word on YouTube because it seems a bit far-fetched to be thinking that people could be contacting my YouTube viewers. However, I'm an artist, um, so a solopreneur creative, and the thing is I've always built my own website, maintained my own website, but to build a secure payment environment for my customers, um, that felt a little bit I wasn't secure enough about that. So I outsourced that part, the payment desk, to Etsy. Now, YouTube has been my main um, channel of communication, um, which is why it's also sometimes been a shop window to some of the things I was selling on Etsy and some people did buy on Etsy um, on a different account, but still, you know, they were my contacts. So that's why people here on YouTube um, may... Um, trust things coming from Etsy and me, which is what they shouldn't do. So if you are contacted through Etsy by me, me, quote unquote me, it's definitely not me. So that's the warning. Now the request part. If you go to Etsy and if you know, and if you have been looking at my work on Etsy or bought something sometime, chances are that if somebody is active, oper actively operating under my name, you might get it as a, um, you know, as a recommendation. If you notice that anybody is selling anything under my name, it's illegal. It's somebody pretending to be me. My name is unique, so um, there is only one of me. And, um, you know, um, then this person um, definitely got into my account and is making illegal sales. In that case, what I am asking you to do, kindly asking you to do, is to report that sale and that seller to Etsy. Um, the more people report such a person, the better. I did this for a couple of artist friends of mine um, that I've run into stolen work of and um, it was a great help um, for them and Etsy to you know to um, sort out um, the thieves from the artists so now I'm asking you basically the same only now we're dealing with somebody who probably um, got into my account so what you can also do after you've reported that to Etsy is send me a print screen and um, then I can also report that person, that seller to Etsy saying, hey, this person is operating under my name. That's illegal. Please take care of that. It would be a great help. Um, at this point in time, there isn't much I can say about the, the entire situation because um, we're in an ongoing um, um, it's an ongoing process now with Etsy and Etsy support where I'm trying to get back control of that account or where I'm trying to get Etsy to just shut down the account because it's been compromised, period. Um, but the, um, I was initially, I was waiting for Etsy replies to be able to say, okay, we're well on the way of resolving all of this, um, but it's taking such a long time and so many different people are responding um, and and. So not all responses are relevant at all. So I figured that first now I had to send out a warning in case this person who's 
possibly or probably got into my Etsy account cannot use that access to, you know, to take advantage of anybody else. So if you have been approached by someone in the past um, few days, or if you are approached by someone in the next few, in the, in, you know, from now on, just know it is not me. And just, you know, um, um, you can also report that to Etsy. Um, that would be really great. You can let me know. I can report it to Etsy saying, look, somebody's active under my name. Um, and all of those little bits and pieces together might help my case. So, yeah, there is a little piece of unsolicited advice that I have for you um, on the basis of my own experience and after reading um, as much as I could find on the Internet about um, Etsy accounts being hacked. Um, if you have an Etsy account, whether it's a seller or a buyer's account, and if you haven't been on there for a little while, even if it's just a few weeks, go back online, um, check to see if your account's in order, change your password, and if you haven't already done so, um, install two-factor authentication. I know it's a pain in the ass, but um, seriously, getting back your account from Etsy is not easy. Um, also, one, when you're in your account, look up all the details of your account. Um, write down when did you start your account, what were the usernames you had, um, what were your last sales, your last purchases. Um, just be sure you know the bank account, the credit card number and phone number you have on that Etsy account. Because once you need to get back in, you need all that kind of information. If you haven't made a proper administration, and why would you if it's not for work purposes? Why would you do such an administration? But then it's very, very hard to get back the access to your Etsy account. So that would be a really wise thing to do. So this is a short video and I hope that it's informed you well enough of the situation. If you've had any experience with your account being hacked on Etsy as well, and if you've had trouble getting back access and taking down your account, please let me know how you succeeded in the end because that's something I am I'm dying to find out how am I going to get through. Unfortunately, Etsy does not do phone calls on the topic of a hacked account for some reason. Um, uh, so it's it's very hard to to um, to figure out how to solve things with these rather long periods of time between the replies all the time. That doesn't make it easier to um, to get all of this sorted. So um, I will get back to you about this. Um, I hope soon <laughs> I'll get back to you about this and let you know how things went. And um, But in the meantime, most importantly, you know now that if you're approached through Etsy by someone who says they're me, or if you're, or if you're approached at all, it's not me. Okay, so and if you're in doubt, contact me um, and I will let you know. You best contact me here, maybe on YouTube. Um, or through my email, that's also a possibility. And you will know where to find my email. If you've been here more often, then you'll know where to find my email. So looking forward to making the next video, hopefully able to say it's all resolved. And I'm hoping to see you guys then. Until then, take really good care of yourselves in real life and um, online as well. Have a good weekend. Thank you for watching. Bye.